What time is it? Hey, welcome back, fourth and fifth grade. We are jumping ahead in the timeline. We made caveman art. Fourth grade, you didn't get to make your Egyptian sarcophagus. So we're gonna go ahead and do that very quickly. I'll find a way to catch you up with fifth grade. Fourth and fifth grade, we are moving from caveman art to ancient Egypt to ancient Greece. A lot of what archaeologists and historians know about ancient Greece comes from artwork found on their vases. Uh, their vases come in a variety of shapes and sizes. What we are going to do today is draw our own vase on orange paper. I want you to divide the top of the vase into three or four stripes across the top and three or four stripes across the bottom leave the middle blank for next week. I'll talk about next week's assignment next week. What I want you to do in the seven stripes that you've drawn, ignoring the middle, is I want you to fill the top and bottom with a black marker. You are going to fill them in with different Greek patterns. I, you can copy the ones I have up front, um, you can draw them over and over again. You can make up your own pattern if you want to. But really, all I want you to do is on an orange piece of paper, draw your own vase, cut it out, make sure your name's on the back, and then fill the top and the bottom of the vase with Greek-inspired patterns. That's it for this week. Bye. Okay, this is it. Last pro tip for the nine weeks. You have seen me sketch this out in blue pencil. You've seen me tighten it up in gray graphite. You've seen me ink it. You've seen me scan it and color it. Every step of the way that I work on this mural is an opportunity to tighten up, to refine, to edit. So hopefully by then it'll be the best version of itself that it can be. What I'm going to do today is kind of see how everything looks. Now that I'm done with the painting that I want them to paint, and I know what my leprechauns look like, I have taken a photo of the covered area on the wall that I want this to be on. And what I'm just going to do is kind of manipulate these, move characters around, flip them horizontally, uh, and figure out where they can go. I guess as far as a pro tip goes, my suggestion to you is if you're ever going to make a picture that takes this long to paint like a mural, uh, make sure you've figured all the hard stuff out on the computer ahead of time so that when you are assigning different kids colors to paint, they know exactly where it should go and you know exactly where it should go. Uh, that's it for this nine weeks, this pro tip. Uh, see you next time. Bonus points! The ancient Greeks invented a lot of things that we still appreciate today. I want you to tell me what your favorite Greek invention is. That's it. See you next time. Bye.